let us uh, see how to find missing terms in a table using this uh, difference table. Okay, so let's assume that this is the given data. So at zero, function takes a value one. At one, it takes minus two. At two, it takes minus fifteen. At three, we don't know what it is. Okay, so we need to find this is a missing number. Now at four, it is one. Now, so how to find this missing number using the difference table? So generally, what do we do is how many values are given here? We can say that one, two, three, four, five. So five values are given. Okay, so if the five values are given, uh, we can we can see that y can be approximated with a fourth degree polynomial, isn't it? And we will also believe that the information is from a fourth degree polynomial. It may be or may not be. Okay, we we will have an assumption that it is from a fourth degree polynomial. Why? Because the maximum differences we can compute here is. Up to fourth difference only. Fourth difference is the maximum difference that we compute. Okay, so if it is a fourth degree polynomial, we will we we know that its fourth difference is constant. It means whatever you got it there, we will treat it as a constant. Okay, so so <clears throat> and the fifth difference will become zero. So okay, let me walk through the problem. First, let me construct a difference uh, table. So first, you write uh, x values zero. This is zero, one, two, three, and four, and this is one minus two minus fifteen. And we don't know what is it. So let me assume that is a, and it is one. Okay. So this is x, and this is y. So first forward difference delta y. Let me write which is minus three, minus thirteen, here plus fifteen, one minus a. And next second forward difference delta square of y, minus thirteen plus three, which is minus ten, and which is a plus fifteen, minus into minus plus. So that is. Twenty. Yeah, and here one minus fifteen that gives you minus fourteen. Minus a minus uh, uh, minus a that is minus two. So next we will go for delta cube of y. So if it is delta cube of y, then what is it? A plus twenty eight plus ten that is a plus. Thirty-eight. Okay, and this is uh, minus two a minus a that is minus three a. Okay, and this is minus fourteen uh, and minus twenty-eight. All right. So that gives you minus forty-two. Now next, delta power four. So delta power four of y, and what is it? This is minus four a. All right. So which is minus four a, and this is minus thirty two, so minus eighty. Okay. Now here there is a problem. Suppose if I assume that it is a fourth degree polynomial, and we know this is a constant. Now what this constant is equal to? And if if the function is a a monic fourth degree polynomial, then its derivative is derivative is what four factorial, right? Fourth fourth derivative that is twenty four. Okay. If that is monic, if it is a monic, I mean x power four plus something you have, then its derivative will be twenty four fourth fourth derivative. All right, but Here I don't know whether it is a monic polynomial or some other polynomial. So in assumption we will take that as a monic polynomial. Okay. So we are actually finding with an assumption. Okay. So here there are two things you can assume. 
1. Assume that the data is coming from a fourth degree monic fourth degree polynomial. So in that case, what happens? Minus 4a minus 80, this must be equal to 24. You understand? Whereas if you assume that the data is coming from uh, the third degree polynomial, then we will equate this guy to 0. All right. So let me have an assumption here. The assumption is that so let us assume that data is given from a fourth degree polynomial, fourth degree monic polynomial. Monic polynomial, I mean the highest polynomial, highest degree coefficient is 1. Okay. Now, and the common difference is 1. So, if the common difference is 1, definitely the fourth difference is same as the fourth derivative. We already discussed in the class. Right. So, therefore, we must equate this 4a minus 4a minus 80 to 24. Because this is the fourth derivative of a fourth degree monic polynomial. And I can say it's it's not just the derivative, it, you can say the fourth difference also. This is the fourth difference of the fourth degree monic polynomial. Alright, so from this what is minus 4a? So minus 4a is going to be 24 plus you get 80. Alright, so how about a here? Now a is going to be then so minus of Yeah, this goes 6 times and it goes 20 times. So this is minus 26. So therefore, a equal to minus 26. So the missing number is 26. If the if the uh, data is given from a fourth degree monic polynomial. Suppose if I assume that the data is given from a third degree polynomial, then in that case, in that case you may equate uh, minus 4a minus 80 to 0 because if it is third degree then its fourth difference is 0. So from that 4a equal to minus 80 so a equal to that gives you 20 minus 1. Okay and let me tell you how I have taken this data and this data while creating question I have taken y equal to this y equal to x power 4 minus 4x cube plus 1. So this is the one I have taken while constructing a data. So you can see that y of, uh, y of 0 is 1 and y of 1 is minus 2. Similarly, the rest also you can see. And here if you see that y of 2, that not y of 2, y of 3, that gives you minus 26 only. Since I have taken fourth degree, yeah, it exactly agrees. But if I approximate it with the third degree, it, it means you are approximating with the third degree one only, third degree polynomial. Means you are not taking this, you are taking a degree below it. Okay. And in sometimes you know what happens? Suppose if the data is more, let's say you are given with some more points, and at some point you will find that. The difference may be constant. It's like you may find uh, 24, 24 here. Now with that we can assume this must be equal to 24. You can face that kind of situations also. Or you may get 0, 0 here and you may take this one as 0. So like that. So if the more information is given, okay. So it is easier to decide depending upon where you got constant and where you got 0. Okay, so this is how you can find missing terms in the table.
Sir, if the, if the judge asked to find the missing term, what do we have to assume, sir, whether it is fourth degree polynomial or third degree polynomial? So, suppose if you are given it five points, we assume that is fourth degree and proceed. But while calculating, okay. while calculating, if you observe that, the third difference becomes zero. Let's say for some terms, the third difference becomes zero and the second difference remains constant, then, it, then you can change, uh, change your assumption. Okay, while while okay, sir. while moving forward, we will start with the highest one. But while calculating, if we find it is smaller, yeah, okay, if we found it is zero, so it is it is of smaller degree, so like that you can proceed. Okay. Sir. So there are just few more things to discuss. So with that, we can we can actually complete the syllabus also. So let us stop it here.